Hey, this is Vertigo from simplygfx.com slash everywhere else I am. Um, today I'm going to show you how I did these little things here in the background. Um, I had, you have to compile them together yourself, but um, it's really not that complicated. It's pretty cool to be able to do it. Um, so what you need to do is you need to find a C4D. So here's the C4D I found just before starting this video. Um, what you want to do is, well, first of all, I'm going to duplicate it just to make things easier. Control J to duplicate, and um, yeah, okay. Control J. I would make a new document. Um, Let's say you can do whatever size you want, really. 1,200, probably way too big, but that's okay. Um, 600, okay. And um, what you want to do is you're going to click Control-T or Transform, which is Edit Transform, obviously. Um, make it thin, not too thin yet but thin enough where it looks pretty thin. Um, you can leave some of the wider parts that stick out a little. We'll fix that in a second. But what you want to do from here is you want to filter, lookify, shift, control, x, it says. I don't usually use that. But you want to get your top little forward warp, warp tool and get a pretty big brush size that will affect this. And you just want to push it in and just push in anything that you want in well you pretty much want to push it all in and you want to make it kind of turny i'm gonna push this all the way this way and then i'm gonna don't you actually kind of want it to make like a little bit of a swooshy shape like an s because that will make it because you're gonna basically be doing this over and over again um, so, okay, once you get a decent little swoosh thing, I've only done this once, so hopefully this turns out well, because I used a different C4D last time. Should work fine. Control A, Control C, um, then go to your new canvas, your other canvas, and click Control V, and if you want, you can go from here, I'll zoom in a little so I can see better. And you can duplicate it. Control J. Not Control U. Control J. Um, and just kind of flip it around. Control T. Just kind of go like that. And if you want to be a little more picky, like say you don't like this part. I don't really love that part, so I'm going to liquefy it. And I'll liquefy it, and I'll push this down. You can just keep doing this as much as you want. This gives it some kind of varying stuff going on. And um, you want to bring it in pretty tightly, or just keep duplicating. I'm getting some lag. Control T. Flip it. I'm going to shrink it a little. See if this works. Control J. And really, you can just keep doing that. If you wanted, I just I'll duplicate all the all four layers I have already, and then just kind of push it out a little bit, flip it around. That way, it doesn't look. You can't find obvious parts that are exactly the same. And people are like, "Ooh, pretty." Um, that's not looking too bad there. 
here's what I'll do is I'll go like that and I'll even transform it all make it even thinner than before you can see you can start you start to see that little viney look mechanical look it has um, to make this easy for yourself to put it um, do apply image once you have everything you need um, control shift alt e hide every other layer and control a control c so say i wanted this in this signature then you can just paste it in and then control t make it that you can see how that would work out um, see it has a cool look to it and if I put it under some adjustment layers I'm sure you'll be able to see better I'll put it there how it can get that viney look put it back here so it's just a cool little thing to use um, I'm sure it works with other things too I haven't really messed with it too much but it's gonna be something I really think I could use in the future with even fractals and stuff um, but yeah, just a quick little tutorial on making little swoosh things. Um, see you later.